The carburetor overhaul kit includes the parts you need to rebuild your carburetor. It consists of gaskets, the metering needle, o-rings, and seals. The carburetor can be plugged by debris or corrosion. When this occurs, you will need to disassemble the carburetor and carefully clean it. The kit includes the parts of the carburetor that require maintenance or that might be damaged during disassembly. Overhauling your carburetor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the motor cover. Now I'll remove the air filter cover. And the air filter. With the cover removed, I can remove the primer base. Next, I'll remove the fuel line from the carburetor. You'll either need to drain the gas from the fuel tank or clamp off the fuel line. I've already drained the gas, so I'll go ahead and remove the line. And now I can remove the carburetor. With the carburetor removed, I'll go ahead and disassemble it. First, I'll remove the bowl. I'll remove the bowl gasket, the float, and as I remove the float, I'll remove the metering needle. In the bottom of the carburetor, there's a plug. These are called Welch plugs. They cover openings that are machined inside the carburetor. Typically, you can leave these in place as you clean. If you want to remove them, You'd drive a punch into the plug, being careful not to damage the carburetor beneath, and pry the welch plug out. The overhaul kit comes with a new welch plug you would install afterward. There's a couple of ways to clean a carburetor. You can use carburetor cleaner, where you would spray down the entire carburetor body, and then go through and carefully spray each of the tiny openings, making sure you get all of the debris and dirt out of the carb. The other way, and the way I prefer, is to use an ultrasonic cleaner. With this method, you disassemble the carburetor like we have, and then put all of the small parts into the ultrasonic cleaner along with the carburetor body, and the ultrasonic will do a great job of cleaning all the tiny passages. With the carburetor clean, now I can begin installing the carburetor kit. The kit is used for many different models of carburetors. You won't use all of the parts in the kit. The first thing I'll do is remove the throttle plate. There should be a sill between the linkage plate and the body. That sill is worn completely away. I'll note the orientation of the throttle plate and then remove the screw. Then I can pull out the linkage. I'll use one of the thin seals that came in the kit and place it onto the post. And 
And now I can reinstall this. And reinstall the plate. Next, I'll remove and replace the metering needle seat. There's a couple of ways to remove the seat. You can either blow compressed air through the inlet and that'll often pop the old seat out. Or you can use a screw. Just drive the screw into the seat and pull it out. And now I can install the new seat. You'll notice one side of the seat is flat and the other side has a groove milled in it. That groove will point down into the carburetor body. I like to apply a little bit of grease to the seat just so it installs a little easier. Also, I'll put a little grease on top and that'll hold it to a small screwdriver as I insert it into the carburetor. I'll use the screwdriver to carefully press the seat into place. Now I can replace the metering needle assembly. The kit comes with both a new needle and a new hinge pin. I'll place the needle onto the float, install the float and needle into the carburetor body, and secure it in place with a hinge pin. I'll install the new bowl gasket, and the new gasket for the nut. I'll place the bowl onto the carburetor and secure it with the nut. The kit also includes a new O-ring for the intake and a gasket for the primer body. Now I can reinstall the carburetor. I'll reconnect the linkage, and now I can secure it with the bolts. Next, I'll reinstall the fuel line. And secure the fuel line clamp. Now I'll reinstall the base. Connect the throttle linkage. I'll make sure that I reinstall the breather tube to the back of the base and align the base with the carburetor. I'll secure it with the screws. And now I'll reinstall the air filter. And I'll finish by reinstalling the motor cover. And that's how you can rebuild your carburetor with a carburetor overhaul kit.
Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.